Hey, how's it going everyone? Got a video today, gonna draw a thing, as usual. Um, I feel like that's kind of become my general opening for pretty much any video I do. But yeah, hey, how's it going? Gonna do like a warm-up drawing today. So I wanted to do like a series of videos, kind of almost like a show, kind of like a recurring thing, but not really like numbered episodes where I just do like warm-up drawings, like something, you know, simple, casual, talk about the process of like warming up and like, you know, what I do when I sit down and like get ready to draw and that kind of thing. Um, maybe you'd be interested. So I had talked about it before, but um, I usually, when I sit down to warm up, I'll open up a page in my sketchbook, but I just finished my sketchbook like within the last few days. Um, and I don't, yeah, within the last few days. Uh, I was gonna try to come up with an exact day, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, <laughs> anyway. Uh, finished my sketchbook, so I'm just warming up on a piece of Bristol board that's like postcard size. Sometimes I'll I'll buy the bigger sheets and I'll cut down these kind of like postcard size ones. And sometimes I'll actually, you know, uh, sell the postcards, to like put in with like comic orders or, uh, you know, just kind of like do it for fun and like save it for later. So yeah, I thought I'd do something simple and kind of just, you know, ramble on and talk about nothing for a while. Um, but yeah, so usually when I warm up, I'll do something uh, that I'm really comfortable with, and I like to draw a lot of like girls and stuff like that, so a lot of times I'll just sit down and like start with a general face shape, as you saw right there, and kind of just, you know, draw a girl, like not really thinking too hard about it, just really trying to kind of, you know, loosen up and get the creative juices flowing, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, never, uh, that's kind of, never mind. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, get the gears turning. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with, we'll go with that. Get the gears turning, uh, you know, rather than flowing juices. Maybe that's a little bit more, a little bit more appropriate. But yeah, so just gonna, just draw on a girl. And if you, you know, if you, like, are working on projects, and, and I'm working on a few things right now, that's kind of what's been keeping me from making videos. I've been working on a lot of different projects. I have a lot less time to draw kind of for myself and just kind of like get my own ideas out on the paper. So, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll be working on another project and I'll like kind of be thinking about something that I want to draw. And I'm like, mm, I'll be, th I'll be distracted by that idea while I'm working on, you know, something else that's like a comic book or like, you know, a concept art or something like that. And I, I hate that feeling of like being distracted by something else. Like I like to focus on my work. So if I'm if I've got something particular that's on my mind, a lot of times when I warm up, like I'll spend uh, a few minutes just kind of getting that idea out on paper. Even if even if I don't have a chance to like fully flesh out the idea, it at least feels good to like get it started and get it out of my head into a place where I can you know look at it later and uh, either keep working on it from there. Um, but at the very least, it's kind of off my mind for a little while, uh, and so. Yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll like sketch out a character idea or just, you know, draw like a simple like landscape or, you know, I'll just doodle characters like I'm like I'm doing right now, you know, kind of just like nice and easy. Not, it's I don't like to put too much pressure on myself uh, when I'm just warming up because it's more more about just getting in the getting in that kind of creative headspace than it is actually like trying to um, like create something, you know, like really polished, I guess. It's just kind of, uh, you know, um, if I could think of a good way to describe it, it's like, it's like practice. It's like a practice run for your, for your actual project that you want to work on or something like that. Cause after this, I'll probably end up working on, uh, like some thumbnails for some concept artwork. You know, I got this big scene that I'm working on and maybe I'll be able to share some of that stuff later. It's been pretty, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff uh, I'm working on. I'd like to like to share some of that. But uh, yeah, after this, I'll be working on that. So it's nice to kind of, um, you know, actually draw something. And then I'll be working on some rough thumbnails. So I won't be able to do like a lot of detail or anything like that. So it's nice to do something a little bit different to warm up. And then I won't feel so bad about just having to draw like some, some loose thumbnails for the project I'm working on. So warm-ups can be really good. And I want to... This has kind of been like a rambly kind of talk about whatever uh warm-up drawing because i'm kind of just i don't know clear got a lot of ideas in my head and just kind of clearing them out but like for future episodes i'll talk about you know maybe doing specific warm-up exercises you know like uh drawing a figure or like drawing a quick landscape or you know maybe doing some timed warm-ups too because those are always good i mentioned that i i 
want to spend about 10 to 15 minutes usually on a warm-up drawing so I'm trying to keep it pretty close to that um, you can get quite a quite a quite a lot done in 10 or 15 minutes especially if you make it like a regular thing of doing 10 to 15 minute warm-ups you'll realize that as you practice that more and more you'll be able to get more done in 15 minutes you know after doing that for like you know a while than when you when you started and it's kind of surprising it's not something that happens overnight but you will notice it over time and it's something that I'm not always the best at like Sometimes I don't time myself at all and I'll end up spending like an hour or 45 minutes on a warm-up, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Like if you need to spend that amount of time, like sometimes you do, it's, uh, it can be worth it. You know, if, if I'm sitting down for a much longer drawing session, like maybe a couple hours, then it's really not, it's really not too bad of an idea to sit down and, and warm up for you know maybe 45 minutes or so because if you're actually going to be sitting there for a few hours like uh you kind of got to get yourself in that mindset at least i do anyway um this is kind of just more about how i do things and everybody's everybody's different like you know i i know some people that will not warm up at all and they'll just jump straight into their drawings and they can do that and that's really impressive but uh i can't always do that sometimes i can but not all the time so a lot of times I'm, I'm here warming up. And it also, I love spending time in my sketchbook. I love drawing, um, you know, random ideas that I have and, you know, things that don't necessarily uh, have to become anything. Like these, these characters probably won't become anything, but, you know, fun to draw nonetheless. And who knows, maybe they will. Never know with these kind of things. But yeah, I'll do some, I'll do some different stuff, you know, because I wanted to do, I've been doing arts and farts. That's been my kind of one regular series and I kind of I want to keep doing that um, but I also want to get a few different different things going so like if you like these if you like this like warm-up video if you like this kind of format a little bit shorter drawing session you know not necessarily guided but if you want to draw along you totally you totally can um, if you just want to hang out and do your do a warm-up drawing with me that'd be totally that'd be totally cool if you have any ideas um, let me know. I'm always open to to feedback from my videos, you know. Uh, let me know what you guys like. Let me know what you don't like. Air your grievances. Uh, <laughs> I will always do my best to uh, to respond to any comments you guys have. I've been really bad about it lately. I know. I've been s super busy. been working on a bunch of different projects, but hopefully I'll be able to show off some of that stuff soon. Um, and actually, I will be able to. I've got a few things I need to put together. And I'll have some... Uh, cool videos to post with uh, like concept art from other projects and stuff like that and so I'll be able to post some more of that kind of thing and uh, also get some of these series going that I've been that I've been talking about I've also got a few ideas of my own that uh, I'm pretty excited about that are kind of in the in the baby stages of development so I don't know I think it's gonna be a good year got a lot of stuff I want to do got a lot of big plans so yeah if you guys are liking if you guys are liking this let me know and, and of course, let me let me know if you don't like it. And if you guys want more arts and farts, let me know. That's definitely going to happen uh, at some point. Um, I'm kind of in in between on arts and farts right now because my printer uh, needs new cartridges, and you know, those cost like an arm and a leg. So I've been really like dragging my feet on getting new cartridges for that. So um, I haven't been able to like print out references to draw for arts and farts. So that's made it a little difficult. But hey. We'll get there, and I'll definitely put up some new episodes of that, probably like a limited series, um, but that'll be pretty fun, and I'll be doing more of these warm-ups too. So we'll get hopefully a good variety of videos going. I'm gonna, I definitely got some plans for some longer videos and more comics in the work, of course. So in the works, in the work? Uh, yeah, in the works. It's all right, maybe I'll work on my English skills a little bit too. That benefit everybody. <laughs> Yeah, so I got just just some rough lines, and it's been pretty fun to like kind of sketch, just you know really loose. I get this like big pencil and put some like rough shading in. I think we're coming up, yeah, just about on ten minutes here, so I'm like right on track for where I want to be. I love using these big fat pencils, I'm laying down a lot, a lot of tone. It's just, it's like there's something satisfying about it. And 
And these, uh, these, you've probably seen these in other videos, these carp carpenter pencils. These are pretty cheap. You can just get like simple ones at like Walmart. You can order these ones. I got these ones on Amazon, the Dixon ones. And these, uh, this, the other pencil I was using to draw, to do like the line work and stuff, is just a paper mate, 1.3 millimeter mechanical pencil. You can get those pretty much anywhere. Uh, I've seen them everywhere from, you know, a, a Target to Walmart to Staples, Office Depot, all those places. It's just a simple mechanical pencil with kind of like a thicker lead. And it's really nice for doing rough line work. I really enjoy using those. And these nice big carpenter pencils are great for doing rough shading. So um, one thing I can recommend when you're doing warm-ups, always try to, you know, stay loose. Like don't get caught up doing too much detail because if you, if you want to try only you know, to only spend 10 to 15 minutes on your warm up drawing. Um, it can be really easy to get kind of like stuck in one area and just spend a lot of time doing like one, one area highly detailed and like not come up with like a fully realized drawing, which you don't have to if you want. Like, if you want to just draw some really detailed stuff for your warm up, that's totally fine. But for me personally, when I, when I do warm-up drawings, I always try to keep myself moving because I can get caught, like if I got caught doing like all the detail and like a bunch of detailed shading on the hair, then I could easily spend 10 to 15 minutes just drawing the hair. So I usually try to keep my pencil moving and uh, you know, that ends up kind of with a little bit more of like a rough aesthetic, but I don't know, I kind of like that, so. It's, it, it feels nice to kind of just let loose and draw really rough, especially if you're gonna be working on a project that requires nice, precise line work and attention to detail and all that. Um, it's, it, it can be, it's good to just let loose and just draw something, draw something rough. Because I know like, I, I like to draw rough and there are projects that I work like really high detail on and sometimes it can get a little bit exhausting. You're like, man, I just wish I could just like scribble. But <laughs> uh, get your, get your, Get your scribbling done in your warm-ups and you'll feel a lot better about it. I'm gonna make some of this line work a little bit darker. Just to emphasize a few shapes here. Because the carp the carpenter pen pencil is pretty light, but if you push hard enough with this uh, paper mate pencil, you can get some nice dark lines. Yeah, that's good. So yeah. Pretty much wrapping up here as to do these like just final accents. Thanks for watching, guys. I know the videos have been a little few and far between lately, but it's just because I'm busy. There I go complaining about it again. But I'm doing my best. I'm gonna have uh, a bunch of new videos soon, and I've got a few new series I want to do. So yeah, let me know. Let me know how you liked it or how you didn't like it. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys really are the best. I love you. I'll say it every time. I'll at least try my best to remember. But if I don't say it, know that I'm at least thinking it in my heart. So, yeah, this has been a warm-up. Drew, a creepy mask dude, and a girl. So, that's probably going to be the title of the video. We'll see. Um, but you'll, this is, never mind. Uh, it's all, time is all timey-wimey. So, it'll be like the future by the time you know the, t never mind. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun. I'll see you next time. I hope. Bye.